In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your background section's color on scroll using GSAP. So this is what we're going to be creating. So as you can tell, whenever I scroll to this section here, you notice that the background is starting to change colors. It goes from black to blue. And that is basically what we're going to be creating. It works great on desktop and mobile, so you shouldn't have a problem with that at all. If you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure that you have a section. And inside that section, you have a bunch of um, inner columns. And you make it fairly long, right? You don't want it to be something short because we're only going to be applying the style just to this section here. Um, so make sure that you just have everything inside of one section in order for that to work. So go ahead and click on your section that you want to change the background color on scroll. And then go into advance. And then go ahead and type in slide dash container. Okay, so just in case anyone's wondering, this is just an Elementor template that I'm just using. So once you've added your CSS class to um, your container, go into your dashboard, and we just need to go ahead and add our GSAP. Also make sure that you click update on here, just in case. Let's go into Elementor, custom code. Go ahead and click on add new. Uh, let's go ahead and call this change, and the location is gonna be the body end. Go ahead and paste your script that I've provided in the description. And I'll be going over more of the code towards the end. But basically what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and add our background gradient here. So in order to grab our background gradient, we're going to be using cssgradient.io. So go to this website. I'll have it down in the description and you guys can create your gradient here. So I want to kind of use a gradient that's going to go with the website here. So I'm going to grab this green color and I'm going to change the first one here to this color. And then the second one, I may just drop it down here. Oops, that's not the second one. Let me add this one here again. Let's click on the second one here and let's just make this one dark. So we're going to start with that. We can add obviously more colors, um, but we're just going to start with two colors for now. So now I'm going to leave this at 90 degrees there. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab our background code here. So make sure that you grab this. And make sure that you don't copy the semicolon here. Just leave that as is. And then paste it in between your single quotes here. And make sure that it doesn't have a semicolon at the end here. It has to be just like this. Okay. And now go ahead and click publish and let's publish this to the right page I'm going to singular and I'm going to select my page obviously if you have it on the front page then you can just select front page um, see if I can find here change background on scroll save and let's let that just save there and there we have it let's go ahead and view the website And now you can see that we have our markers here. Obviously for you, I'll have those removed so you don't see those. But in case you want to add markers to see when everything begins, you can just type in markers, colon, true, and then a comma right here. So now if we scroll down here, we'll see that our animation is probably going to start around right here. And the reason being is that I want to have a solid color first, and then I want to start my animation here with the background change but we can have it start a lot sooner and I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Now, of course you can change this to whatever color. This doesn't really look the greatest, but let's say we wanted to start this gradient background change a lot sooner. What we could do is we can go back to our code and then uh, we want to do at the start, we want to basically have this start sooner. So we're going to do a negative 50%. So what that's going to do here is it's going to shift our start higher up so we start this a lot sooner so whenever we start to scroll it's already going to start to uh, change so let me hit update here so let's refresh this and as you can see 
already right here and it's that animation here starting to start. And there we have it. But as mentioned, you guys can use any color here. I mean, I use this one for my website. Um, if you guys wanted to do something like this, I believe this can actually work. So you guys can grab this color here. And you guys can create your, your own. You can add uh, more gradients to it. It doesn't just have to be two, as mentioned. And in case you guys wanted to add another one to this, let's say we were working on this one, I believe. Um, in order to add another one, you can just click on these and then just add more and then just change the colors around however you would like. Um, but let's say I change it to that blue. The blue actually does look pretty good. That's the one that I have on my agency website. So if we were to scroll now, see this blue looks really cool, right? So you guys can use that for your website. Um, obviously I would have it, I would have it start a lot later, but um, that's completely up to you. I'd probably leave this more maybe at 25 instead. That's kind of where I would leave it at. And maybe instead of this, we can do zero degrees. Let's see how that looks. So you can just kind of mess around with that, play around with it and see um, what cool gradients animations we're able to create off of this. So that doesn't look too bad there. Um, kind of like the other one. I think I'm going to go 90 instead. I'm probably going to go 90. I feel like that is the best. But it just depends on what, what you want to achieve. Because as you can tell, it completely changes the color here. Switches back to that color here. So really just depends on what you want to do with that. Now let me go over the code here a little bit. Just so then you guys understand it. I kind of went through the markers here already. So you guys should be fine. I also have a bunch of videos on GSAP. So basically, just in case, for this start marker is this one here. So it's 25%, negative 25% above my section here. If I were to remove the negative and I just did 25%, it would bring it down 25%. Our marker here that's stuck to our scroll bar, that's the second one that we have here, and we have it set to the center. But you can maybe do 25% negative. It'll bring our marker up a little more, or you can just do 25% without the negative and it'll bring it down. And you kind of get that, the gist of it. You can also do top and bottom. So I can do bottom on this one and it'll bring my marker down. And then, so let me go over basically everything here. So then we have a function here. It's just gonna check if um, GSAP is loaded here. If it is, then, uh, then it's gonna start to activate our function here that we have here. Then our function here, we have a slide background that we're triggering here. And basically, we want to go ahead and, and target the section. Um, it's going to change the background here. It's gonna we're going to start a scroll trigger. It's going to trigger on our same slide container that we added earlier. It's just this one here. Um, and we have our our start, our markers, which I'm going to remove because I don't need that for you guys. And then we have a scrub, which is just going to tie um, our scroll bar to our animation. And then we have our style of a background we're doing in linear gradient. And we got that from here. And we just copied it in and then we just added a duration, of course. But you can change the duration. You can do 0 0.5. Um, you can do uh, 2. Just depends. And then we just have our script to GSAP. And that's pretty much it. If you guys do want to learn more about GSAP, I highly suggest going through my channel. I do have a playlist on it. And you guys can view more videos on that. So if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.